scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let your word change me. If you are not changed, you are making the word of none effect. change my mindset change my ideology transform my mind Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. Sing it, God, in the midst of His people. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is. Help me watch it. Emmanuel, 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 Your name is you in the midst of your people Emmanuel. strong and breasted one Emmanuel. Emmanuel. his name is called your name is called Emmanuel. your name Yes, Lord, you are in our midst, and we thank you, we love you for your presence. Change us, change us, change us, take away the stony heart, so oh God, give us a heart of flesh. Reorder our priorities. Let there be shifting in our hearts, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is called. 
name is called. His name is called. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they said, Is Saul also a prophet? This ordinary man we know called the son of Kish. What suddenly happened to him that he began to prophesy from morning till night? Is Saul also a prophet? He said, I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil I have anointed him. Hallelujah. He told Jeremiah, From when you were in your mother's womb, I called you, I ordained you to be a prophet. He said, Jeremiah, don't say I am small. I have put my word in your mouth. And he will subdue kingdoms. He will tear down. The Bible says these people will be called the repairers of the breach. They will fix the broken walls and the desolations of many generations. This is what God is doing. There is a revolution. He says, I will build my church. Not a church. Not their church. Many people can build their church, but I will build my church according to a heavenly pattern. And he told Moses, he said, ensure that you build according to pattern. Bible says, every house is built by some man, but God is the builder of all things. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, holy. Holy is the Lamb. Holy, holy is the Lamb. Faithful, faithful is the Lamb. Faithful. Mighty, mighty, mighty is the Lamb, mighty, mighty is the Lamb. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. My spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. It's a powerful song. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me Breathe on me It is the breath of the Almighty that make men of understanding Breathe on me Breathe on me Breathe on me Affect my life, breathe on me. I live to you. Affect my life, breathe on me. Sing it from your heart. Lord, affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. 
more time. of desperation.
Shalom Shalom Koinonia hey, Peace be to you When Messiah comes to take us home May His praise be found Shalom, Shalom, the bride of Christ. Yeah, peace be to you. Now the Messiah has come to take us home. May His praise. alone and convict and shame that glory <laughs> shalom 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 coin on His presence comes to change. Don't doubt what you're experiencing. But in His presence, taking place in the spirit I sense a very strong healing anointing in this place I am the Lord your healer I sent my word and it healed your disease I am the Lord your healer I am the Lord the Lord is healing sick bodies right that now healer that healer thee I am the Lord your, your healer I, I sent my, my word I am the Lord, your healer. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in Tell you the Holy Spirit is resting, is finding habitation. Father, have mercy and grace. 
services through the week we are in strange seasons of the glory because God is opening portals God is opening scrolls showing us the mysteries of the kingdom Hallelujah I'm not just singing, this is a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you hear this sound in your spirit. Hallelujah. Prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Please follow me instrumentally. 
I'm not singing. It's a chant in the spirit. Hallelujah. Ride upon the wings of this sound, O great one. Sina ma shake na 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 na. Sene de de go so na 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 na. Ride upon the wings of this sound. Echo in your spirit, man. For when the shofar blows, it's a sign that the season has A dimension of God that the church has lost the meeting point between men and the presence of God Emmanuel, and the church will see your only face Emmanuel, when you come Hallelujah You have won the victory Sikata baba kala bada da da Hallelujah You have won it all for me just that part, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory.
with everything. With everything, yeah. Yeah. we will shine yeah. for yeah. your glory. Make sure you participate in the worship. It's part of the teaching. presence of God is happy and mighty in this place. With everything, with everything, with everything, with everything. we will shout we for your glory. This is the part of the song that I like. Oh, 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 remain the habitation of your presence oh God there is a strange wind physical wind physical wind that I see in the spirit and it's going to blow inside this place a real physical wind you will feel it start happening right now a real wind is the wind of the spirit a real physical wind physical wind blow oh great wind even as I've seen in the spirit, a real physical wind. Changing, transforming. I don't mind waiting. We're not in a hurry. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. For who is there? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth. Look, the Lord is doing something tonight. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you?
Jesus. This is what this is all about. And we give you the glory. We thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you for the miracles. For the healing. Thank you because you're already changing the mindsets of people. Doing what mortal words cannot articulate. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About the name. Something happens when we call his name. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit to what you are doing. I will praise the Lamb. Of God who sits upon the throne. Sam, help me. I, I will, will worship him and give, and give the praise to, to him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever. And they bow down and they sing holy. Yes, we sing holy. And we, your sons and daughters, we praise you now and we cry holy. Yes, we cry. Holy. I will praise the Lamb. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him alone. He who was in Hallelujah. your voice and sing Holy. there's no one like you Lord Holy. there's no one like you Lord no can confess to you Holy. separate and sanctify what do you call the praise and what is your glory, God? We will bow before you and raise your voice and say, She is so holy. Somebody worship him. We cry, Holy Lord.
Lord Jesus, we truly thank you. We do not take for granted what you are doing. Thank you for your presence. Lord, if this is all you do with us tonight, we are grateful. There is only so much we know about the presence of God and its power to change. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Bless us, oh God, tonight. We're not ashamed to bask in your presence. This is the place of true power. This is the place where burdens are lifted. This is where you are separating men. worship him your flesh may be weak but there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit sing hallelujah 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 Just whisper it to the Lord and say, I'm available. Lord, I'm available. Pray it. Turn it to, into a, a solemn prayer. You're with him alone tonight. I know we are here corporately. I'm truly available. Even if this is your first time tonight. This is how to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what happens to you when you are exposed to God's presence. Your flesh will start fighting you. Your mortal physical body we start finding excuses as to why you are tired is because something is happening many of us have not mastered the art of taming the flesh to stay in the presence of god once you raise a worship song you suddenly begin to feel i'm tired i need to I, i'm looking for something it's not like you're really tired brothers and sisters no flesh can stand in his presence when your flesh is compelled to submit to the influence of his presence, you will become a wonder. His power can flow through you. The energy, the ability of the spirit. You don't just need a transformation of the mind. You need a total alignment. An alignment. Where something happens to you, not just in your spirit, not just in your soul, but your physical body your physical body when you bask in the glory of God I'm telling you it affects your physical body your mortal body every fiber of your cell every fiber of your blood your body comes under the influence of that cupboard that weight of his glory that's what will melt every sickness 
That's what will set people free. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Good evening and God bless you. If you can, sit down. If you cannot, the meeting is already on. I love to worship and I love to praise I bow before you lifting you I I worship your holy name I love to worship I love to praise I bow before you, lifting you high. You are being renewed. Listen to me, please. You are being changed. These seats are vacant. Can we have one or two people occupy these seats, please? Hallelujah. Please fill up every vacant seat. Just come quietly, find a place and sit down. God bless all of you standing. You may be standing now, but I assure you, a day will come you will sit. Yeah, the Bible says the word is able to give you an inheritance. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do it without me. Mali Paradashia. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, if you're changing cities in this season, please don't do it without me. That's always my prayer. Don't, Don't do, do it without me. Oh Lord, as you're leading people into your glory, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. See, listen, if you take seriously the things I'm teaching you, it will shock you what you will become. It's a programming. Listen to me. What you are receiving is a programming. It's making you become something. It's aligning you spiritually so that the reality of the kingdom can find expression through you. This is what God desires. Not just when you are standing on stage. Hallelujah. There is an alignment through the songs. Even if you don't hear anything, the atmosphere does something to you. There is a change. The presence of God. This is the factor that you need in your life, brothers and sisters. Power is not enough to change people. There is, there is a way you can align to the Holy Ghost. That you become a living wonder. Your physical, mortal body carries heaven hallelujah and that everywhere you go you become an envoy i did a teaching envoys of his presence you don't have all the time to start teaching people sermons brothers and sisters there are times you will need to let the presence alone speak oh Oh, 
has become our passion in this place. It pays to walk with God. It pays. God is speaking to someone here. Tonight, you need to win the war in your heart and give up the flesh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Hallelujah. There are people who have been fighting to submit totally to the Spirit. And he's giving the devil access to destroy your life. You know what I'm talking about. There are so many of you outside. There are many of us inside. Hallelujah. This is what is keeping many of us in bondages. This is what gives the devil legal access. Tonight. Tonight. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Even before I continue. Don't mind what I'm doing. Let me just do my stupid thing on the stage. This is the Holy Ghost doing what he's doing. This is koinonia. Hallelujah. There are people who need to win this war tonight. The struggle is over. You, you can't keep fighting with destiny forever. You may be sitting and people may be looking at you, but we are struggling. There is this war between Cain and Abel. The spirit and the flesh. Hallelujah. As I count three, I want those people to get up, jump up on your feet and come out here right now. One. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Please, if you are not sure of why you are here, go back to your seat and think again. Please, we are not, we are not playing games. We are really, look at me, hold on. Praise God. I, I appreciate your sincerity, but we are not playing games. If you are coming out here, you are really telling the Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Win this war tonight. I make up my mind for real. Hallelujah. Just come, there's still some space. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart lord i will bow lord i will bow to you listen jesus said something he said satan cometh to me and does not find anything satan come to me many of us it's not that we don't love god this has been my message he is not a priority there are so many things we believe that deserve our time and our attention because we live in a society that convinces us that spirituality makes us failure who can compare to you great is the measure of your royalty oh morning star you truly are everything listen look at me those of you coming out you can win this war tonight and say lord take my life take over i don't care who is watching me i'm i'm sick and tired of this fake life there are many of you who are supposed to join them you're sitting smiling and the holy ghost is talking to you and saying this is serious business join them quickly there are many of you outside lord you are everything to me is my treasure my priority who can compare to him nobody great is 
is the measure of his royalty. Oh, morning star, you truly are everything. Listen, if that Isaac in your life that makes God of less value does not leave you, you will never experience the power of God. Take it from me. Don't let anybody fool you. I've told you there are some things in the kingdom that are not gifts. They are rewards for serious people. It's part of the justice system of heaven. For many of us, it's boyfriend and girlfriend that won't let us get serious with God. For many of us, it's money. Ah, you want money. For many of us, we are just careless and vulnerable. And it may not be your fault. We came from backgrounds where priority to the things of God is seen as being strange. But let me tell you something. When you come for koinonia, what you see is a new culture. You don't see Yoruba culture here or Hausa culture or Igbo culture or, or another culture, South-South culture. We divorce those things to pick the excellency of the culture of the kingdom. And in a kingdom, there is no democracy. The entire citizens look up to the king and his agenda. Many of you believe in God. Tonight, will you submit to his government? This is the true place of power. Take me to the place. The place you are It's the secret place That's where I want to be I tell you, you will command power and authority When you stand in that realm The place you are The secret place those of you standing, can you sing it with me? Take me to the place. Come on. Take me to the place. The place you are. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. There are many of you that need to take your phone. Look at me. And send polite but serious text messages to certain people and say i've been playing with the issue of god being my priority but right now mr man i mean business see let me tell you if you are ashamed of this i can guarantee you brothers and many of our parents were ashamed of this decision and they are paying for it bitterly they went to school but they are still paying the remedy from the tragedy that comes with this system, this fallen system, is to walk in the spirit. Lift your hands, those of you in front, and cry your heart to God. Those of us seated, join them. In one minute, say, Lord, I take you seriously from today. Pray! Take away every Isaac, oh God that will not stop me from being serious some of you are ashamed of the mockery that comes with carrying the cross man pray for i am not ashamed of the gospel it is the power of god unto salvation those of you standing cry come on this is between you and god this is your koinonia tonight Lord, I know you desire to use me. But what is this weight? It says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Take it, O oh God. Take it, whatever it is, and mean it 
from your heart. Ladies, pray. Lord, take it away. So that I can rise to a realm higher than what I have seen. So that I will command the authority of the kingdom. So that I will be trusted with the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are not with them that are born again. With them that fear him. Them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. Let your Christianity last. Let your Christianity last. No mood swings with God. Kill it tonight. No mood swings with God. I love you whether there's money or not. I love you whether there's job or not. Come on, pray. I love you whether there's marriage or not. Children or not. Academics or not. Carry over or not. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Sing it with me. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamond. There is nothing Hallelujah. Our time is fast spent. If this is all we do tonight, no problem. I wanted to teach something about the mysteries of the kingdom. One of the mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of having more. In the kingdom, you have more by losing what you have. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a strange mystery. It says, whosoever loves his life will lose it. But whosoever loses it, you want power, lose the strength you have in yourself. And you will get a higher one. You want wisdom, lose the one you have. Break it like an alabaster box. And pour it on his feet. And say, Lord, take the intellect. I know I went to school, but I can roll on the floor. For the excellency of another. You must lose what you currently have. Otherwise, you will never get it. A higher dimension. I pray for you. Say after me, those of you standing, Lord Jesus, I mean business with you. Many of you, as you are praying, the power of the Holy Ghost will come strong upon you. Because this is what the Holy Ghost has been waiting for. He's been seeking you for a long time. Hallelujah. I mean business with you. I make up my mind tonight that you are my priority. I not only believe in Jesus, I submit to the government of heaven. Every Isaac in my life that stops me from rising higher, I give it tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for these ones in the name of Jesus. They have come because they mean business with you. Transform them. Some of them are men of God. Some of them are women of God. Some of them are great leaders. Some of them have seen your hand in a measure. I pray in the name that is above all names. Help them. In the name of Jesus. May grace to lose what you have be given to you. That you will get something higher. That nothing in this earth can compare with it. I break every ungodly association. Look at me. And I announce this to everybody. Hear me inside and outside. You are not truly born again if your association does not change. I'm going to repeat it. You are not truly born again if your association, especially the association that kept you in sin, there's no such thing that I'm born again and my best friend is still that person, I will change him. Uh -uh. When it was time for Moses to be changed, he left Egypt and went and stayed with God, was trained 
when he had that stature, God sent him back to Egypt as a deliverer. You don't stay in Egypt and get transformed. Hallelujah. There are many of us. You have three or four people. Your friends. They drag a lady and they are coming to sleep with her. And you are there. You are a Christian. But you don't, you don't like it. But there's nothing that can be done about it. And then you are in the room there. You are watching. You didn't sleep with the lady. But a seed has been sown in your life. You are going to go and pray. And you are thinking of all kinds of things. Your spiritual stability has been distorted. And it will take a long time for you to get back your footing. But I pray for you tonight. The hand of the Almighty is upon you. You will leave this place transformed. Please go back to your seat. Give me 15 minutes or so. And we'll be And then. two meetings now God has been interrupting what we are doing in this place the message I preached last week was not even the message that I plan to preach this week again and every time you see God stepping in like that is because we are entering seasons I told us about the seasons of greatness like Noah, I will keep announcing it until we step into the reality of it. Noah kept saying something. Kept saying something. And this is not just empty confession. Hallelujah. Grant us grace, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can we just look at something? Small. We're talking about the mysteries of the kingdom. Um, for time's sake, our time is already gone. I will just pick something really, just an aspect of what I want to share. Um, and then we'll just pray. I want to teach us tonight how to enforce the kingdom in our lives. How to enforce the kingdom. Matthew 6. Ah, Jesus inspires me. Goodness. I began to read this, the parables of Jesus. And I mean, those parables were just hitting me like arrows with mysteries. Hallelujah. If you are ever caught up to heaven or the realm of the spirit... And you ever see God or angels. The proof that you truly saw God. Or anything divine. Is that you will return with more questions than the answers you got. You will come back with a lot of information. But you will come back so confused. Your dependence in the Holy Spirit will increase as a matter of life and death. Because of the mysteries. Brothers and sisters, this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries. I shared with us already that a mystery is a secret truth. A mystery is a hidden truth. Hidden truth. Hidden truth. There are some mysteries that we have to really look at. We may not, we can't touch all of them. That's to say we are reading, we are exploring the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But there are a few mysteries we have to touch. One of it is enforcing the kingdom. Maybe next week we'll discuss the mystery of marriage. Not relationship and family talk at all. The mystery of marriage. The Bible calls it a great mystery. Ephesians. That means no unbeliever can truly understand marriage. It's not about age. 
Anything that is a mystery is only given to the sons of the kingdom to understand. Hmm. He said it is given unto you to know the mysteries. So men can see, the Bible says, so that they seeing, they may not see, they can't understand. Hearing, but they will not get it. But there is a mystery. When you understand this, you must be a good husband. The mystery of marriage. When you understand it, you must be a good wife. Whether you pick a wife from Borno and a husband from Niger Delta, no problem. A great mystery. Paul, there were few things in the Bible that Paul called a great mystery. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. And I told us last week that there are certain people by the election of grace, they are called stewards of the mysteries of God. Stewards, stewards, custodians, caretakers of the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Enforcing the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The influence of the king. What is the kingdom? The summation of the value system, the ideologies of the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, I may have to rush. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Enforcing the kingdom talks about reproducing the reality of the king's culture. The king's culture. That's the best way to put it. A culture is the way of life of a people. Their way of operation. Reproducing the king's atmosphere. Reproducing the king's result. Forcing his decrees to work here and now in your life. There are principles. It's a mystery. Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray. And he said something. Verse 6. Or let's start from verse, um, chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Verse 10 says what? Okay, it says, Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Three powerful words that sum up the desires of God for men in this system. Your kingdom. Replace that word kingdom with three words, please. You may not, if you can do it, wonderful. Number one, your culture. Number two, your principles. Number three, your influence. Culture, principle, influence. Please, all of us, listen. These teachings will make us kingdom people. This is Jesus telling the people that this is the Father's desire. Because he said, that I do nothing of my own as I see my Father. Your, what's the first word now? So, let's read it. Just in your mind, just put culture there. Are you ready? One, to read. Your culture. Lord, let your culture, that way of life that makes heaven, heaven, I want it to come. That way of life, the culture of heaven, let it come. Number two, the principles of heaven. That means the formula by which heaven runs its activities. Let it be transported to this realm here and now. Please follow me. Number three, your influence. What is your influence? The jurisdiction of your control. The jurisdiction of your control. Let it find expression. This is Jesus praying. This prayer was not just something that they are supposed to be praying and reciting every day. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This and that and that. And that. All those things are just games. Jesus was saying something very serious. The Bible says the spirit searches the mind of God. And in searching the mind of God, he said your culture, your principles, your influence let it come you see why we sing songs like your kingdom reign are you following me now 
enforcing the kingdom what does it mean to enforce the kingdom it means to align yourself so that this prayer becomes answered in your life and across your territory enforcing the culture enforcing the kingdom hallelujah now this is very very important let me have somebody one lady benga come one lady can come anybody where are you from sir you're from kogi state stand here where are you from enugu thank you one yoruba person yoruba oh yeah one house a person real house or not katsina and or any of these people. oh yeah now people want to embarrass your people now now watch this you are from where oga katsina real katsina you are from ondo kogi state watch this these people represent different territories everybody say territory you must understand this i want to be very simple i'm out of time i know you you may not remember what i'm saying but you remember what i'm acting here are you getting my point this lady is from the east accustomed to the life and the culture of the east where the culture came from is not the issue is that is there now is that true are you following what i'm saying now uh -huh. this guy listen is from kogi state and there is a way there is a culture there is a life is that true this lady is a yoruba lady are you following me now there is a culture for instance if her mother were to come here you know how she's going to greet her right is that true this gentleman is from the north he and his father can go if assuming he were not a believer for instance he and his father can go to the same mat and pray and that's not disrespect in fact it's a sign of loyalty and commitment whereas in other cultures when men are sitting down women don't even come there are you getting what i'm saying so jesus looks at these people with their different cultures and he says when you pray if you must become true citizens of the kingdom pray that your kingdom overshadow what has been existing that has tilted the minds of the people to behave in a way that closes the spirit from finding expression are you getting the prayer now and so he said for that to happen you must pray that your kingdom that means when you get born again as an evil lady you don't come and negotiate with god and say lord remember i'm Igbo. i gave you my heart as Igbo. so all through our walk where Igbo clashes with the kingdom you will shift for me and let's continue moving are you getting my point now the katsina person says look lord the way we do our things we are very very diplomatic about it don't bring any kingdom thing now what many believers want is that we take a culture right come into the kingdom when we come into the kingdom we now begin to enforce our culture please are you understanding what i'm saying we now begin to enforce our culture now not every aspect of culture is wrong i hope you know that but there are dangerous and devilish aspects of culture and this culture was carved out by babylon this mystery that birds and spews iniquity upon the face of the earth so that when you keep practicing certain things it permits the gates of hell to perpetually keep working in your life are you listening to me now so although you are born again there are still ordinances that are holding you back and because you are not ready to subscribe you are a believer but you are not ready to bend and subscribe to a higher kingdom are you getting my point now but when you come into christ you die and let me tell you the revelation of that death to die means you cease to honor everything you honored before him that's the way of the cross are you getting my point now and when you come out from the other end you are naked the holy ghost is supposed to now begin to introduce you to a new culture supervised by the king himself 
not the traditional ruler in your village that's why he himself is called the king many people know the savior but they have not met the king and let me tell you, you will never walk as an ambassador in the kingdom until you encounter the king. Because ambassadors are the envoys that represent the ideologies of the king. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? So, I come in with my culture. I even become a pastor with this culture. And we carry all kinds of ideologies as we study scripture culture and the principles we have practiced now become the lens from which we judge and interpret scripture are you getting what i'm saying so it corrupts the authenticity of what the spirit is about to do that is the reason why when in egypt when they came out of egypt that's i told you power is not enough to change people they saw miracles but the moment the going got tough they said, remember that calf that Pharaoh used to build now that helped them during one war? Aaron, come and help us. Let's help ourselves here. This, maybe Moses is dead somewhere. God has killed him. You see that? Because they came out and they still brought Egypt with them. So when the going went tough, what happened? They negotiated with Egypt. It was not an Egyptian that built that calf, brothers and sisters. The same people. God's own Israel. This is how many of us are. We come out of the kingdom, but we have not left these things. This revelation, thy kingdom come, has not found expression in our lives. But when you come into the school of the spirit, the Lord now says, there is neither male nor female. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. What is the revelation of that? He's introducing you to a new kingdom that is not dependent on your gender. A new kingdom that is not dependent on your prior ideology. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the mysteries of eternal life. It's a little here, a little dear, and soon your day will dawn. It's changing everything in obedience to Christ. When Jesus was walking, the Bible talks about a centurion, a captain in the army. He came to Jesus and he said, my son is about to die. And Jesus said, all right, I will come to him. He said, uh-uh. I know I'm a Jew. And I said, I, I mean, a Roman soldier, sorry. And according to the custom of the Romans, when, when, when they call you, you must come physically present. And he said, but I am a man under authority. Jesus had him speaking kingdom language. And Jesus said, I'm interested. Talk, I'm listening. He said, as a result of being under authority, I can tell one, go without coming physically and he will go. And tell another, come and Jesus say, yeah, I have not found this revelation. You, a Roman soldier, who taught you this? He said, then go. If you believe this. Brothers and sisters, your degree of relinquishing the hold of your own principles and adopting that of the kingdom is the degree to which you will conform to the true image of the Christ here and now. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. I told you we are one in Christ. Revelation and alignment has separated us into different cadres. One star different from another in glory. So what is possible for brother A may not be possible for brother B. Same grace, same faith, same Lord, same baptism, different responses to that which the Spirit has given. That's why he gave unto one five talent, he gave unto one two. If he gave five and five, then we will know that it's a system that does not depend on our personal contribution. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people who teach that we all got the same thing. No, sir. The Bible tells me he gave five. He gave two. Not according to his desire to bless them. According to their stewardship that they have proven in time past. Hallelujah. So, a time comes when Taiwo's tradition 
and principles limit the Holy Spirit. God takes us so far and when it's time to climb higher, that which she must lay down becomes too much. Can God use me? I'm a lady. All I want to do is just marry. That revelation is limiting God like the chains held the hands of Samson. Those two hands represented the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. They were bound and so nothing could happen because the foundation of the kingdom is built upon the apostles and the prophets. Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. But the Bible says when the spirit of God came, the first thing that happened was the chains melted. They became like flax so that it could now release the apostolic and the prophetic. And he said, give me the jawbone of an ass. That's all I need. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the king. He has taken all the glory. He has taken all the praise. He has taken all dominion. He has taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the king. For a very long time, when he called this patriarch called Abraham, he said, Abraham, come out of your father's house. There is something in your father's house that has the capacity to limit your prophetic destiny. I know it's your father's house, but come out of it. He said, out of all your kindred and go to a land, a, a city, a mountain, a place that I will show you. And if you obey me, I will make you blessed. In Genesis 12, it was not yet at work in his life. It was the prophecy of what would happen if he obeys. And the Bible says he left. And Lot... You see that? He was told to go alone. When he looked at Lot, he said, Lot, I've been with you or you come. Amazing how we carry many things in the name of pity and they are the things that open the door for darkness at the apex of our breakthrough. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. A time came, God said, told Abraham, look, let Lot go. What are you willing to let go for the excellency of this new culture? Listen, the Bible says, ask for the ancient part. In the kingdom, there is no invention. Your creativity is useless in the kingdom. You are not left to create anything at all. Are you getting what I'm saying? As far as working with God is concerned, your expertise and your creativity is taking advantage of his spirit to enforce the kingdom here. But as far as your work with God is concerned, your personal initiative is not necessary. The Bible says, ask for the ancient path. It didn't say create a road and tie it. Ask for it. There is already a road. Ask for it and walk and you will find rest for your soul. In other words, refuse to ask for it and keep struggling. Following roads and come and find yourself in the same spot again. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? So God desires that regardless, see, this sister can never relate with Benga truly and sincerely if both of them do not adopt a higher kingdom. That is greater than... The, are you getting my point? A time will come when their personal ideologies will clash. Why am I entering next week already? I don't want to steal into the mystery of marriage. And you will know why without the adoption of the culture of the kingdom, there's no such thing as family peace. Union between man and a woman. I love you, I love you. Junk. If you do not adopt this kingdom, you will. some people's head clash every day because their cultures are east and west. What they say don't do in this culture is exactly what you need to do to be a good citizen. When I talk of culture, I don't just mean tradition. I mean your way of life. Hallelujah. Are you getting my point now? When I submit to the culture of the kingdom, if this is my wife, 
and I want to stand here, and she wants to stand here. We both of us look and say, Look, we are fighting here. Where does the king want? And the king said, Two of you go back. We submit our personal wills to adopt that of the kingdom. This is the only basis where brothers can dwell together in unity. Are you getting my point now? Many of us are holding strong to devilish ideologies. Let me give you one. For instance, secular music and godly music. I'm hitting somebody now. Yes, I will say it again. Delete that junk from your phone. Don't let anybody let you know that Christians are... You know, we have this ugly mindset about Christians that they are old school. They are the ones left behind. Just allow your foolishness to keep deceiving you. In the future, you will see how far we have gone. Hallelujah. A lot of people listen to all kinds of things and we laugh and we are happy not knowing that music carries a spirit. Every song carries a spirit that writes upon your heart. Huh? When it writes upon your heart, it's like a spiritual slate. You begin to feed off that writing. That was the revelation that the devil was bringing to Jesus. Turn this stone into bread. There was something that was written on stone when Moses was on the mountain. He said, turn it to become bread. In other words, let that be your basis of living. And he said, no, man shall not live by this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many things that are militating us. So when we talk about this transformation, this transformation, you must align yourself. Ah, I refuse to talk about marriage this night. Please, I want peace. It's, it's till next week. Come next week prepared. Somebody can be married for 50 years and be married wrongly, working with an ideology. He can write a wrong book. And I was, I was sharing with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. We're just having some time together. Someone can be married for 50, 60 years. That's why when you see an elder who loves God and fears God, and has a great home, listen to him because he has two advantages experience and the spirit of God. There are many people writing all kinds of books about marriage. Their personal experience has become the template for them to initiate other people. So they say certain things are not possible based on the limitations they faced. Not knowing that if they only aligned some more to the kingdom, some things would have become possible. Hallelujah. Say, I submit to the government of heaven. So, Ibo, how far are you willing to go with God? As far as submitting yourself to pick up the ideologies of the king is concerned. I don't just mean your culture in terms of village, the way you are behaving. It's generally believed that Igbo people like money. And they can do everything for it. Don't laugh. That's a culture. When you come to the kingdom, what says the spirit to the church? What is the new ideology? Are you going to join that band of fruitless hustlers? I must make it. My share of the national cake. Although you are a Christian, you are born again, but it's limiting you. So you cannot honor the law of process. You cannot walk with the spirit accordingly. Hallelujah. Kogi people. Middle belters, all right, or northerners. There are strong ideologies that we have held as a territory. Are we willing to let some of these things go? When you are angry and you tell somebody, you will see. You now run and there's somebody stationed. To deal with you and bring everything to justice. But the Bible says vengeance is mine. So you now have two kingdoms. Choose ye this day. I set before you. Hallelujah. It's believed that Yoruba people love education so much. And they can press for it. You need to have a degree. Do this. Go abroad. Come back. Do this and that. But to what degree are you willing to yield to the spirit 
so that you become a true spiritual man, not limited by intellect alone. Knowing that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Lord that showeth mercy. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. But he gives unto his beloved sleep. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who is this one? Um, the northern and Hausa man. What are you willing to lay down? It's generally believed that northerners are, are not serious with their wives. They are less fair and careless. The man's job is just to give birth. And then allow the woman go to farm and suffer and do that. Don't just forget. We're going to talk about that one next week. Praise God. See, ah, you see, the thing about marriage is that marriage is the greatest example between our relationship and Christ and this enforcing the kingdom. That's why I keep jumping there. If Benga, ah, uh -uh, come, my brother. If this guy is going to marry um, Taiwo, brothers and sisters, except another kingdom superimposes them, there is war. Everybody shout war. war. War that will not end. You know that Anglican statement, war without end. Because there will be clash of values. Many of us go to God in prayer. And we approach God with certain mindsets that are limiting God. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God. When you share a word like in the name of Jesus, the hand of God will come upon your exams. Your mindset suddenly says, forget. If you read, you read. If you don't read, you will fail. Your mindset has become a limiting factor. You had the testimony of the, of the person who just checked the jam? I know many of you think it's a lie. If you are giving your way now, you say, let's verify this thing. Even that genotype thing, I'm not very sure. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. That's what you are saying. Say, forget Jare. Which doctor? Let's check. Let's go back. I must be there. Thomas was there. And he did the same thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You see the... All the disciples that Jesus walked with represented different ideologies. Peter was so impulsive. He was an extrovert. One moment, don't wash my feet. The other moment, bath me. Thomas, you know, all kinds of people. But all of them came into an alignment. Are you getting my point? Such that it didn't matter who entered any city. The Holy Ghost was comfortable to do the same thing. This is kingdom. Thy kingdom. Say it upon your life, the kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. When the kingdom comes upon your finances, you stop running finances like heat and run. This nonsense people do around. You go to Abuja and see people running. Everybody is running. I, I was watching, I think it was NTA this afternoon, and they were showing a good luck Jonathan. I think they went for something campaign in Equity State. Or this, and I saw all the people dancing on the road. I said, but do these people really love this country? Or is it that the hunger is too much? They are muzzling the last ounce of energy to just dance it so that when the money comes, they can negotiate after the, the, the conference. Has the kingdom come over your finances? Or you are still running it the way you know? Go to school, get a job, hope to get a very great job. Wonderful. But have you, have you had the opinion of the king? Do you know there is an economic system in this kingdom that was there before you were born? Have you been interested in subscribing to it? The Bible said, taste and see that the Lord, it didn't say wish and complain. Be serious. How do you taste food? You go and sit down in the restaurant. You sit down for as long as the food is being prepared. While he's preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies, you must sit down. And then you will taste and testify. And say, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled, even that of the word of life, that's what we preach. 
has the kingdom come upon your soul to change your character brothers and sisters this is very important there are many christians without character you can walk out immediately after the grace and give one sister a dirty slap because you are entering bus you see forget the fact that i sat down in front of you try me i wound you i'm not one of these guys that like looking for women don't think i like you look at this this guy just spent three hours rolling on the floor and worshiping now he wants to give a lady a slap the next time somebody does like that tell him thy kingdom <laughs> hallelujah when somebody carries his mouth and you are lambasting somebody a brother just comes and says i like your shoe no 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 no. i'm not this kind of people let me tell you something i'm not this kind of boy just say brother just say thy kingdom you need the influence of the kingdom. Have you allowed the kingdom to come upon your academics? Do you not know that the spirit of God came upon a man called Daniel? And changed him, literally. He learned the art and the language of the Babylonians. And the Bible says he was distinguished. But every time they are talking, you say, me, I had one P, four C, I added Neko. It even allowed me and gave me two years to make it up. And you take that mindset. Have you allowed the kingdom to come? Please, is my message making sense tonight? In your body, you will keep dying of terminal disease until you allow the kingdom to come. So you are healed one moment from miracle service, but you now go back and this happens again. No, come, no, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, no, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. God is coming to you tonight and saying, how long are you willing to keep remaining at this level? You have a ministry. God wants to take you to a high level but your limitation. There is a message you had that has refused to allow the kingdom come. And you keep wondering, why is this thing not working? And then out of frustration, you just say anybody that is doing it is fake. Forget it. All these people. Rejoice! Rejoice! Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. When he comes to you, he walks upon your mind. When he comes to you, he changes your ideology. Don't tell me I'm from Edo State. Don't tell me I'm from Plateau State. Don't tell me I'm from Lagos. Are you willing to subscribe? To the governing influence of the king. Three ways you enforce the kingdom. Very quickly, please sit down. Number one. Look at me. 12. To enforce the kingdom, you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles that govern the operation of God's system. But it so happens that these mysteries are so many our lifetime will not be able to follow me please i'm trying to construct the first um the first way of enforcing the kingdom the mysteries that govern the operation of the kingdom remember i showed you the creation before genesis 1 remember when we're talking about what laws of dominion or something i told you there was a creation before genesis 1 is that true and i showed you isn't it how that the foundations of the earth was created. That creation story was even more comprehensive than Genesis 1. That was when the foundations of the earth was laid upon pillars. Right? 
And I told you the sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there. When the sons of God sang for joy. Are you getting my point now? So there are mysteries. The earth is not round. It's not suspended in the space. That's what science told us. But the Bible says it has pillars. The pillars extend to the sea. The Bible says God put doors at the borders of every river. That means every time we see flooding, a spirit manipulated a spiritual law because there are doors. Emmanuel. See, this is what you know that you won't be deceived. When people just say, water just came and washed the house, you say, uh-uh, come on now. I read in my Bible, there are doors. He put boundaries. But by the manipulation of spiritual laws, you can extend their boundaries. I told you, a man can be accurate but not be of God. Spiritual laws are ne not necessarily heavenly laws. In the kingdom, laws can be initiated by any spirit. Any demon spirit, human spirit. That's why a herbalist can concoct something for you and it will work. Because he's manipulating the laws of the spirit. But for kingdom citizens, that law must be initiated, sustained by the spirit of the Christ. That's what makes it of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can go to somebody by the riverside right now. The person will buff out all your problems. And truly, you'll find out that your problems left. Because he manipulated a law. But it so happens that if the spirit of God is not the one who initiated the process, there will still be a window left. Only the spirit of God knows the mystery to the final door of evil. Every other person will leave a signature that shows. So you can look at somebody's visitation of a man of God or of somebody and know that it's not God this person met. There was still a window. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Oh, I wish I had time. This gives you spiritual intelligence. I remember um, where I did my secondary school, they, had, they, they understood the art and science of holy rain. It will never rain on their market day. That was the source of their livelihood. They had enchanters who could look and know which law can keep the cloud suspended. And then in the night around two, no wind, no nothing. A heavy rain will now come. What's the compensation? There is something, of course. Remember the law of exchange. There is always a compensation. Don't let anybody fool you. You don't get nothing for nothing in the kingdom. That thing is not true. If you got it free, somebody paid for it. There is always an exchange. Always. So the next time you hear that there is flooding around, don't join ignorant people to just say, wow, the climate is changing. No. No. These spirits are invoking a spiritual formula that extends the borders of the rivers. But when the kingdom citizens show up, like Joshua, we have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom and we can look at the rod of Pharaoh and drop the rod of God and it will swallow it right in their presence and not increase weight and we tell the sorcerers explain the mystery of swallowing two snakes and not increasing in size where did they go to you answer mysteries with mysteries. see let me tell you in the days that will come it will be a clash of mantles men will talk very little something else will be speaking that which God trained them with is what they will use That's what can make people hire you and keep you in a walk. They just say you are, you are part of the board of advisors. You are not doing anything. Your presence is forcing mysteries to walk in the favor of that company. And they say, oh God, you are part of the board of directors. For what? Oh, they will need us. Goodness, we are a city set on a hill. Trust me. Trust me. Bishop used to work with a man. I won't mention his name because people are listening. Bishop Stan used to work with a man. As graduates, he paid them 50000 but he paid the men of God that came to work with him 1.2. You know why? 
because they have mastered the art and science of manipulating spiritual laws. Sorcerers and diviners in Bible days were not elected. They were the closest people to the king because if they leave him, he would die. They leave all the farmers and intelligent people to be killing themselves outside. And those who understand the art and science of controlling this realm. Hmm. And Job said, has thou commanded thy mourning? How do you command your mourning? Brothers and sisters, when you know what you can know, it will... Aye. Grant us grace. This is what the patriarchs knew that made them sons of God. Twelve men in the Old Testament. It has always been twelve. It's the system of God's government. Twelve men who manifested bodily the summation of mysteries that made them afraid. And Elijah the Tishbite showed up from wherever nobody knows. And how he got to the mountain, the Bible doesn't tell us. You think that man would just keep climbing the mountain like that? We just know he sat down at the top of the mountain. And the armies came with their spears. He said, really? They've trained you in the art of war. Those guys were so excellent. They could, they could, diverge, they could diverge arrows with slings. They were so accurate. But Elijah said, I don't have time for this business. Let fire come from heaven the disciples saw jesus do a lot of mystery that's why one day they said jesus let's come out fire jesus didn't say you cannot do it he said do you not know what spirit you are of in other words i'm showing you other mysteries you see what jesus kept teaching them he didn't finish the lecture that's why after resurrection he kept them for 50 days 40 days and he was teaching them the matters of the kingdom after that he said goodbye i can leave you now goodness and we, one man called Bad Jesus meandered. Have you heard the story? Bad what? Bad Jesus. Paul said, ah! In Acts chapter 16, I think it was 16 or 19, when they saw a lady with the spirit of divination bringing a lot of money to all their people by giving people word of knowledge. So you see that it worked, right? For whatever reason, a spirit entered that lady and trained her in the art of interpreting spiritual things. When Paul looked, Paul could not see, but he used another mystery that opened his eyes. And he said, uh-uh, this is not of God. May God make strong men out of us. Not just by impartation, but by knowledge. You will walk everywhere and read the handwritings on the wall. That what men are not seeing, you will see. You will enter your house and somebody will say, I have stomach ache. And you say, no, I need to fast. This is not about stomach ache. I have connected the dots. This is the that of evil. And you come out after 24 hours and say it's well. Ah, ah. Somebody just says, I have another stomach. If you say it's well, I know what I saw. Three days later, the family opens up to unspeakable breakthrough. You think they want you to come back home? There are some of you, they don't want you to come back home because you are, you are adding to the, the mysteries. You are not solving it. Why is it that when you come back home, things finish unusually? Whereas the prophet showed up and said, surely the, the oil will not finish. This and that will not finish. We are going to pray shortly. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is on the strength of the mysteries of the kingdom that you understand. He said it has been given unto you to know. See, when Adam was created, some things were told Adam that Eve did not know. That's why God held Adam responsible. Before Eve showed up, some informations were given Adam. For instance, part of the things that were taught, I believe with all my heart, was God gave him a story of the creation. God told him a lot of things. He knew that water was responsible for abundance. I hope you know. We've shared it here, right? That the things that came out, they came out from the water. The Bible tells us the birds of the air, the fish, they all came out from the water. This is another mystery. That's why the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the word, and what? No, it can't be water. In heaven. But it said in the earth realm, there are three that bear witness. So the spirit bears witness both in heaven and in the earth. The common factor. Both in heaven and in the earth. The spirit 
the water and the blood and i told you this represents three dispensations of the manifestation of the church right the the dispensation of the spirit was a charismatic age from the azusa street and all of that so people laid emphasis on the manifestation and the workings of the spirit and then the word of faith started coming that's the dimension of the water they started teaching people accurately the things of the word and before christ comes the manifestation of the blood not as a teaching as a lifestyle because the blood represents the very life of god that's what will open the gates hmm. so gates that were shut will be opened because of certain mysteries brothers and sisters the kingdom of god seeks to find expression in your life but because there are so many mysteries for us to learn we can only touch so much. Listen to me. There are so many. It will take us a lifetime. So the Holy Spirit identified it as a predicament in us. And he said, there is another mystery that will help you connect to principles that you do not know. But they will work for you. And then the Bible starts saying, for we know not how to pray. He said, this is the limitation. Are you hearing me now? Follow me, please. He said, no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. So no man knows the heart of God save the spirit of God. And then he begins to communicate a limitation that every believer, no matter how strong, we have that limitation. What's the limitation? We know not what to pray for as we ought to. That means we don't know how to use the correct spiritual laws to the accuracy that will give us all the results that we need. But there was a technology that was kept to help our inadequacy. He said, but the spirit itself make it what? This is a mystery. Make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you begin to pray, this mystery was not taught Satan. This is what confuses demons. I hope you know Satan, Lucifer, I told us already, Lucifer was what? Light bearer. He was the custodian of the revelations. He thought he saw everything about God. He did not know that there were other mysteries that were hidden. So he deceived the one third of the angels. He said, guys, just follow me. I can tell you, I have every knowledge of God in my hands. I can even be God right now and it will not change the system of heaven. And God said, really, there was war in heaven. God didn't even stand up from his throne. It was Michael. Michael fought him. So when he came down, he came down, he became lower than the cherubs and all of that. Then, that's why he looked for Adam. I told you the first person who was in the Garden of Eden was who? Lucifer, not Adam. Lucifer was the first person in the Garden of Eden. He was driven out. That's why when Adam came, it got him angry. You see what Satan has with men. So when he collected the Adamic authority, at that point, he became greater than all the angels, second to only the Trinity. That was why when Archangel Michael came and they were fighting over the body of Moses, are you, are you seeing it now? Because at that point, he was higher than him. He could not use that strength again. So he invoked a higher power. The Lord rebuke you. Hold on. Are you, are you getting my point now? Mm. When Jesus was born, because Satan was working with Adamic authority, even Jesus ran away for his life. Otherwise, Satan would have killed him. When Satan took Jesus to the mountain, Jesus did not say, Satan, go away. No, he followed him. And Satan said, all these glories. What mountain did they climb that they saw the glories of the world all at once? Is that not a mystery? Where do you stand in the earth that you see all the glories? But he showed him at once. He said, it has been given to me. Ah, yeah. And so he said, let me give you the shortcut. Why go and die and do all of this nonsense? Because he knew that there is coming another law. He had seen water. It was the water that parted the Red Sea and brought separation between Egypt and Israel. It was the adumbration of baptism. But he saw an adumbration of the blood of the lamb in Egypt. And because he knows that prophetic things must have a physical explanation, he started following anything that looks like blood. So he said, Jesus, this one that you have come now, why just bow down to me and collect this thing? 
Jesus said, no problem. I will collect it anyway. So when he met with it in hell, he said, I've come to collect it now. See? See, Jesus defeated Satan without the help of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had left him. He was in hell. Are you getting me? That was why after the third day, the same spirit that raised him back. That means he came back on the third day, raised by the spirit of God. And when Satan, Jesus collected the keys, stripped Satan of it. That's why in Revelation he said, I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He's got it back. That's what he gave us in redemption. Seven blessings. What is the lamb who was slain to receive? He has received unto us blessings, riches, those seven things. He gave it to us. He said, as my father has sent me, I send you with it. But he said, hold on. Don't just run foolishly. The Holy Ghost. There are many things I want to tell you, but you cannot bear them now. They will be needed for you to be effective. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you. He will teach you the other part of the lessons. Thy kingdom come. So when you begin to pray, that's the first way of enforcing the kingdom. As I begin to pray in the spirit, there are all kinds of codes and mysteries being manipulated in the spirit for my favor. So you can pray. Listen, I shared a revelation with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. When you pray, I hope you know you are sowing seeds. Is that true? And the Bible says, to every seed, God can change the body and give it another body. So I can be praying and all of a sudden it will manifest in my finances. God has given it another body. I can pray in tongues and it will manifest in my health. Are you getting me? God can give seeds another body. Are you seeing why it's important to pray in the spirit? For we have a limitation. We know not what we should pray for. Brothers and sisters, hear me here. If you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, you need to have a meeting with the prayer band people. Hallelujah. Fluent tongues is your lifeline out of this nonsense, this assault of the devil. They will manipulate your life with spiritual principles. I know a lot of people have thought that everything is okay once you are born again. Wait on. See, the laws of the spirit are not the laws of the Old Testament. They predate creation. Hallelujah. It was that same law that brought water for Hagar in the desert. She looked around and there was no water. And when the angel appeared, he opened her eyes. And there was water flowing. That means what you do not see does not mean it's not there. Something can happen in the spirit and make it manifest. There was water. She could not drink because she could not see it. What did the angel do to her eyes? The same thing Elisha did to his servant. Hallelujah. Prayer. Number two. You enforce the kingdom. You enforce the kingdom in the place of deep worship. Very few people understand worship. Please, if you are here and you've not cultivated the life of worship, you can meet the worship team members after the service and say, how do I cultivate a life of worship? Not an event of, cult of worship that you hold might, a life of worship. Just like we did. That's why when we came, the Holy Ghost allowed us to bask in that presence. When that thing happens, the presence of God can enforce the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. One more. You enforce the kingdom by the ministry of the word. Both studying it and speaking it. Not just blind religious speaking. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That kind of speaking that doesn't carry any weight. But that you say, I am blessed. Out of a depth of conviction, you enforce the kingdom. Son of man, what seest thou? Ezekiel 37. Oh, Ezekiel 37. Son of man, can these bones live again? 
He said, only thou knowest. He said, enforce it. I prophesied as I was commanded. And the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Wish so. That means let the healed of the Lord say what? Let the prosperous of the Lord do what? So you say so. Comes from the word homologio. Repeat after the person you just had. And so you speak. My life is blessed. I'm a man of character. I'm a woman of character. You are enforcing the kingdom. I have no business with sickness. Hallelujah. My path is as a shining light. Even when you see things that contradict your faith, you know that there is a reality higher than what you have seen. And you enforce it with your words. We are going to pray. I have to stop here. Were you blessed tonight? Did you get something? We are going to pray. In a few minutes we are going to pray. We will just take two or three minutes and pray very generously in tongues. Hallelujah. After that we will make decrees. And then we'll round up the service. Please rise up on your feet, everyone. Please hold hands together, everyone, if you can, and begin to pray in tongues. Activate the operation of mysteries. Pray, brothers and sisters. Now you understand that praying in tongues helps you to enforce the kingdom, the culture, the influence. Change your life into the Garden of Eden. Change your wilderness into the Garden of Eden. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Change your destiny. Change your life. Give the Holy Ghost an opportunity to move your life forward. Repoto pres ke bondo sekete e kete ne kete rekoto pres ke ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. Whenever you feel confused in your life, pray in tongues. Your situation is at the mercy of mysteries being activated. There is what can be activated that suddenly makes everything possible. Gravity works, but there is another law called the law of aerodynamics. There is a principle that can compel gravity to give way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please leave yourselves. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. In the next two minutes, I want you to open your mouth. Prophesy over your life and your destiny. Come on now, speak the word of God. I'm the blessed of the Lord. My body aligns to spiritual things. My mind aligns to spiritual things. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my eyes are open to see and understand the mysteries of the Spirit. Grace and peace is multiplied unto me. By knowledge, grace and peace, prophesy koinonia, 
grace and peace grace and peace is multiplied don't keep quiet don't keep quiet when you keep quiet you stop the kingdom from being enforced in your life I am blessed I'm fruitful all the way in the name of the Lord Jesus the lines are falling for me in pleasant places I have a goodly heritage the favor of the Lord compasses me as with a shield the earth yields its increase for me I'm blessed with the oil of gladness above my fellow my eyes are open open your mouth and pray if your neighbor is not praying tell the person speak death and life are in the power of the tongue death and life are in the power of the tongue I'm rising higher and higher by the power of the Holy Ghost higher and higher I break limits I'm prosperous I'm anointed in ever increasing dimensions the hand of God is upon me the favor of God is upon me I belong to a kingdom of power my words carry power I am a blessing everywhere I go the hand of God is upon me the favor of God is upon my life I'm strengthening my inner man I'm a man of power I'm a man of wisdom the wisdom of the spirit is at work in me I hear the voice of the spirit telling me this is the way walk ye in it and I find rest for my soul in the name of Jesus Christ every mountain becomes a plain ground before me in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord makes a way for me where there seems to be no way where men say there is a casting down my testimony is that there is a lifting up there's no sickness in my body because I dwell in Zion and no inhabitant of Zion shall say I am sick the spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body and it quickens my mortal body my mind is renewed my body is mortified never an instrument of unrighteousness it has been given unto me to know the mysteries of the kingdom I understand the mysteries of dominion I have ears that hear I have eyes that see hallelujah hallelujah two prayer points and we'll round up hallelujah number one you're going to say lord everything in my life that contends with the culture of the kingdom tonight let your kingdom come let your kingdom come every mindset keeping me in poverty every mindset making me a failure every mindset destroying the anointing in my life tonight thy kingdom come pray your kingdom come upon my mind your kingdom come upon my finances your kingdom come upon my ideologies I lay down mindsets African mindsets cultural mindsets diabolic mindsets anti-craft anti-christ mindsets mindsets that fight the workings of the spirit mindsets that fight new levels of the anointing lay it down tonight and pray there is a higher realm in the spirit there is a level of excellence there is a level of quintessence there is a level of perfection pray mindsets we got from churches and denominations mindsets we got from our upbringing 
mindsets we got from our territories and traditions lord every mindset that is a stronghold limiting the operation of the spirit in my life tonight i cast down imaginations and every yatar every imagination and high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer. You are going to say, Lord, there is always something I can do that will open me up to what looks impossible to me now. Open my eyes. Listen, there is something, just one thing. He said, one thing is needful. Not many things. He said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. But there is one thing that can change your level. One revelation to change your finances. One revelation. One uncovering of the mystery. And you enter another level of the anointing. Lift your voice and say, Lord, where is it? Give me the eyes of an eagle. Show me, O oh God. I want my life to move forward. Pray. This has been my prayer. Pray. Open my eyes. Show me one more mystery that controls the next dimension of power, the next dimension of grace, the next dimension of prosperity and wisdom. Show me, oh God. He said, Call unto me, and I will answer. I will show you. I will show you. Not just tell you, but show you. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see, oh God. Hallelujah. We're well, still going to pray that prayer point. Because many of you are just standing to see. Listen, brothers and sisters, Isaiah remained where he was. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Until the day he saw something higher. In the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, I saw something higher than what I had seen. Hallelujah. There is something that you can see. When Saul saw the prophet, something happened to his destiny. What do you need to see to change your life? Brothers and sisters, I'm convinced it does not take time. It just takes revelation. Pray and say, Lord, open my eyes. For the sake of my family, oh God, what do we need to see? Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to the voices. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle worker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. 
I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting. One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ and god is removing something from your stomach too i'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth i command it to go now right now right now i will praise him from everlasting everlasting hallelujah everlasting madam check yourself Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you. Huh? There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are, you are even afraid of going to the hospital. Yes, sir. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person? Please come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown, brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Eh? because I'm seeing another woman your mother is here the Lord is saying I should speak to her light is living from you outside there is a woman outside she's your mother where is she is she here or at, not outside at, at the is he at the edge of the wall or outside some who is that please is she here come mama God is wiping the tears of your family tonight Everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. Mama, you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. 
I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you. If they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are you? Are you in Zaria here? In Zaria, what do you do? I need to pray because I'm, I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He matter. They caught. This boy matter. They caught. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say on the ten. We will come back again. Eh? What court? He get problem. He matter. They caught. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you? I have a case in the court. Why would we call somebody like don't don't be afraid, Mama? Because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a cause. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie, same material. A tie like a normal this thing this is a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window please i need to speak to her if there is somebody like that let's have a mother outside the lord is showing me mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus for god to change your story i don't know what is in the court but in the name of jesus we will change it how old are you you are 14 you will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Old Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me because the same thing He's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying. That spirit father I lay my hands on our mommy the back pain look at me mama the back pain you it did, it did, it did. Oh. you will be healed now Amen. hold my hand look at what is happening to her mama shout Jesus loud Jesus. father hold my hands for your glory mama look at me look at me you see something like fire moving at your back right now that pain is living right now in the name of jesus do what you couldn't do check yourself do what you couldn't do look at look at you help her cover her it will never return to you in the name of Jesus and I pray for you my friend I'm seeing you but I'm seeing two heads this is a misidentity the devil wants to misrepresent you but I'll pray for you huh your passion for God have good friends if your friends are not good leave them this night may God give you good friends in the name of Jesus Christ grace for you that anointing comes upon you takes you to a new dimension this is the woman mama you are welcome let's celebrate Jesus I'll pray for you but there is another woman I'm talking about there is another mama outside who needs to come mama I'm going to pray for you 
in the name of Jesus. You have a daughter. Yes. Where is she? She is outside. She's outside. Call her. Come. Daughter, where are you? Please come. Everlasting. Shim. What's her name? Shim. Shim. Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? No, the woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. It's not the same as the material she's wearing. I'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it. Ladies, now the normal scarf that you carry and tie. But I will pray for you. Anybody that has come out, I'll pray for you. I don't know why she's here, she is, but I'll pray for you. You are already out. I'll pray for you. Please, let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Um, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother, this is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, mine. I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Sister, but she has um, son and daughter. You have a daughter? She has a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? In ABU here. ABU here. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to Mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus? Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus? No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. 
This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen. You are small, but God will help you. Eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking, a, what's that thing? That cough syrup. Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We're not, we're not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We're not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm bad being in Sokoto. Eh? I'm staying with my elbow at in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm bad being in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling yes, you? Sir. You came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You are a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abby? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina. I hear a name, Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Not me. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir. My 
time is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning please come my sister I, I don't mean to embarrass you you get what I'm saying is to speak over your life you too what category are you here for huh? Regina okay I'll pray for you who has sickle cell there's a sickler here now you are the one please indicate eh, sweetheart. come hold my hands look at me father please do a miracle for this lady you have changed several genotypes in this place change her genotype right now in the name of Jesus from SS to AA do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ my dear let me pray Please, um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please, be serious, eh? And pray, because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious. And you can do anything, especially men. So, please... You will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you. If you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you. That's why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, He may be a sincere person, but him and women, he's even a spirit. He needs help. Let me pray for you that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send into her life the man a, a responsible and God-fearing man in the name of Jesus Christ and for your shame may my God give you double in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll, madam please come that woman can I talk to you please clear the way for her madam please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say father visit me Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. You were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Place. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself. Because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your yes, husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. Your address, sir. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about Titan? Even last week you discussed with her. 
No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? Is the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he married? I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious mm -hmm. issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. You see, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know I don't know what causes it, but I know how it does. Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast it. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all well, I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We're going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Let's go. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now in the name of Jesus. 
the power flows through this baby in Jesus name I hope the usher help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life? Yes, Okay, I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something that is serious, but I'll talk. I'll talk about it. Okay. The Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation. At least 13 people I see in the spirit. Please lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. I'll do the praying. Let's just flow the way the Holy Spirit is praying. Lord Jesus, I'm praying right now. By the ministry of angels. 13 people. By the influence of the spirit. I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray right now. Wherever you are. Inside and outside. Right now, as I pray, that fire starts coming upon them. Right now, right now, bring them out. 13 people, 13 people, by the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. 13 people, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion outside. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus. Confusion must come to an end. Right now. Delay. Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them, bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, While men slept, hear me. There are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now, listen. Listen, my goodness. You are going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen, at the count of three, I tell you wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the Spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! Families, families, families.
is the sword of judgment. Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now those outside, listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me? There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen. I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands. Right now, right now, right now. I command that right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 fire. Every spirit, every devil from my left my right outside outside my left my right every devil right now i stretch my hands every spirit go 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 i command every spirit right now release them release them right now release them release them release them Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out, out right now. My left and my right, I release spirit right now. Right now, right now, right now. Those spirits, I command them to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus, it must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all that's why i came out i'm going to all the overflows those of us here you may be outside but let me tell you something god will step into your destiny please lift your hands because i'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end i'm seeing chains lift your hands i want you to shout jesus just once at the count of three and everybody under that influence must go right now please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them father i chains of bondage but you organize this meeting to recover destinies therefore at the count of three it will come like fire on some of you one two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cast that spirit i cast that spirit i cast that spirit 
let her go right now in the name of Jesus 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 the Lord is giving you a new song a new song the Lord is wiping your tears you on green lift your hands take it now receive right now by the power of the Holy Ghost Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You, Mama, in five years. He's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir. I have to pray. There's delay in your life. The Lord wants me to break the spirit of delay. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. No. Hold my hand, sir. Something will happen to you remarkably right now. Take it! That devil of delay. Out of his life right now. Out! Out! I don't know who this man is, but he's stepping into a new level. God is wiping the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing in the spirit a name, Eboni, Eboni State. Someone here from a boy state. God is bringing a miracle at my back. That person is at my back. A boy state. God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is Margaret? Margaret. I'm hearing the name Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. Still the but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies, please. I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies yes, where are you from yes i'm from edo state you are from edo state yes yes you too five you two you are together oh you are his sister you are his friend so why are you here with him to back him up oh five ladies yes okay okay i'm going to pray for you right now hallelujah in the name of jesus i command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. 
call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me god can fish you out from anywhere look at me i know you are standing by the fence but god is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of jesus i release that anointing upon you right now in the name of jesus christ god has answered your prayer you are praying that i minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of jesus look i stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here i want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are god can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person grace i hear a name grace 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 there's someone with the name grace is there someone like that grace grace i need to pray for grace 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 and i'm hearing garba garba i'm hearing a name garba god is ministering to number know if it's a son name or a name garba in the name of jesus garba where are you your name is garba your son name is garba where is your dad he's outside he's in saudi arabia he's a he's he's in saudi arabia because i'm seeing god is saying look at me god is saying i should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family okay. and so, are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have to be very serious with you. you are going to be very wealthy you are going into oil and gas Amen. are you hearing me i don't know you i don't know anything about you but i'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas and god is going to honor you god will bring a man into your life Bless you. i'm seeing three people here you are writing jam next week jam no no not everybody hold on hold on just relax i'm going to pray for everybody here where i'm standing you are right jam. three people you're right in jam somebody is writing it for the fourth time that person you are the one this will be the last time do you know me oh, come and stand what please remind me in case i forget this jam thing we have to settle it once and for all please people are writing this thing again and again i curse that spirit this overflow these ones looking at me please lift your hands not these ones those ones exactly please lift your hands please don't think that because of the distance all right god cannot touch you there is a reason why i'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside and i want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that god is able to visit you and to minister to you hallelujah those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are father there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here i prophesy to you in the name that is above all names hear me whatever has tied your progress i'm talking to those here i stand under this anointing and i declare a change of story right now Benway State. There's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway State. You have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please. You have an elder brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please listen listen please believe what I'm saying don't come and waste your time God brought you here to wipe your tears any family here you have tried and tried and tried doors have refused to open I open it for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I see somebody here you are looking for a job June um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June I see a job coming this is what God is saying I don't know who I'm speaking but God is meaning somebody your name is Grace where is your mother Kogiste I need to pray for you because there's wisdom I take authority over that spirit of Jesus I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Um, what's the name of that? It's not just dab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll... I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. listen. God is speaking to you. You came for koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back. Please, don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again one once i make altar call wherever you are please march to the front in the name of jesus hallelujah the power of god is coming on some ladies here i've seen in some at least three ladies severe menstrual pain this is not this is something that for one of you is in your family lift your hands please just here this region right now the fire of god is going to come on some ladies i take authority over that spirit right now in the name of jesus christ right now right now i curse that spirit in the name of jesus christ a lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now it will come upon you like fire i take authority over it right now in the name of jesus christ and there is a lady that the lord is showing me for four months you have not seen your period four months you have not seen your period i think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning in the name of jesus christ i see someone's family um like relative in prison there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives i don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that god is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in gobe state how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You. This. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing a restoration. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph. 
You are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are in the crowd. I will pray for you. But the Joseph is inside the crowd here. Who is that? Come out. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Some people come on you. You are in prayer. You are in prayer. God is wiping right In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. Your Joseph, look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? So you are done with German. What you want to study? Engineer. Agri. You're going to be a businessman, and God is going to honor you. Too. In the name of Jesus. Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. Not you or your sister. Is how many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problem. No, no, no. Not eye. I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? No more you get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should be sure not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Step into your heart. Let's go. I'm on my way to Those things, please, please, please follow me. Status is changing. The Lord is bringing you to a new dimension. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's... Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues.
believe me when I tell you there will be testimonies if you are standing here for yourself just move this way if you are standing for yourself move this way please so that I know please just move here I will worship him forever love him forever because this is God is to do please this way just let there be a separation my my brothers and sisters please see how many people the devil is tying down the Lord is bringing you into an anointing it's a healing anointing that is coming on you I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head you you looking at me something is being activated in your spirit man step into that oil that fountain is that healing anointing Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands you out right now right now it's a curse upon the family you are going by the spirit of the living god right now you are a devil of darkness i see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now please those of us here talk to the lord on behalf of your loved ones and say lord you must change your story you must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone. Here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now. And nine months after now, they give birth to their children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing here, I'm going to pray for you. Please make sure you are married. If you are not married, please don't embarrass yourself. Go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. Please. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence. The source of my strength. You. The strength of my life. You. My open, my joy. You. Hey, my confidence. You. Looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your, Your mercy is everlasting. 
I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life my open my joy yeah, my confidence yeah, the source of my strength yeah, the strength of my life yeah, my open my joy yeah, my confidence yeah, I Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord wipes your tears right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hands? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy there are people who have not yet received what they came for here please just be patient with us please this is a miracle service right so that we can justify our coming please let's rise we'll just do this in one minute I'd like you to believe stretch your hands here right now stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray prophesy over it your request is here Lord we turn it into a testimony please make sure those outside their requests are here too if they are here to collect your request just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you are you praying prophesy father this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, miracles upon miracles, miracles, visit everyone, visit issues of concern in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received we have to pray in the name of Jesus please I want you to believe God and lift your hands lift your hands hallelujah the Lord is starting off with direction there are people here who came praying Lord what is the next step of my destiny wherever you are I'm prophesying to you as I speak fire will come upon you just on your head some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. Inside, outside. I open those doors right now. Hallelujah. There's someone praying. You are asking God for money for rent. Rent. The Lord is telling me that between now and Monday morning, there is a miracle coming for you. There is a miracle coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are ladies who have, even guys, this spell of disfavor. Please listen. In the name of Jesus, you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face. I see many people being affected by this. Lord, where are they? That mark of disfavor by this anointing right now. Right now, I break that mark. Right now, inside, outside, in the name of Jesus. I tear off that mark. Kaparataka Latosia. That mark of disfavor. That embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, you have come to the end of your road. And if God does not step in, there will not be any way out. I pray for you. That door closed over your destiny that will not allow you to move to the next level. I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy. I command that door to open right now. Oh, come on. Believe it. Believe it. I command that door to open. Shakatata. Deke poroso bariata. I command that door to open. Swing open. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand. And is yet to enter your hand. Please stretch your hands towards me. Shalakataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything 
that must enter your hand inside and outside i command it from the realm of the spirit i deliver it to your hands in the name of jesus hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow i command your family grow i command your finances grow i command your ministry grow hallelujah i pray for you you hear me pray this all the time because i've seen what it can do in the life of a man where are your destiny helpers if there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment listen when pharaoh refused to allow egypt israel go god took his firstborn whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go we take it tonight in the name of jesus hear me let me tell you the truth there are men that hold the destinies of people low i teach you principles of success but i'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill whoever kept your destiny at a standstill in the name that is above all names i put an anointing upon you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus go forward I prophesy in your career go forward in every area of your life Hallelujah. let me speak over our finances you see what is happening around the nation father we believe in the power to prosper and we believe in favor ah there is such a thing my brother and my sister called favor lift your hands my god and my king that anointing for favor that was on joseph that anointing that made five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand people wherever you are may that anointing come on your life right now 
is coming on people may that anointing come upon you it comes upon you right now hallelujah some of us are moving but our pace is too slow that's the truth we need acceleration we are moving but your pace is too slow there are things you should do in two weeks not three years there are things you should do in one day i'm praying for you the bible says and the hand of god came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel the anointing that must come upon you that between now and next month miracle service what has not happened from when koinonia started may the god that i serve release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of jesus the bible says and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom hear me daniel was found 10 times better that 10 times better unction as you write your jam may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of jesus There are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do. You will know what to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm led to pray for those in final year. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. We need to release you. There are things that have come up. Some of us, physically speaking, it's obvious there is trouble. Where is that God who can correct a man's mistake? I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, you will graduate this year. I said you will graduate this year. I don't know how it will happen, but you must graduate this year. Hallelujah. The secret, receive this, two more and we are done. The secret the ideas, the strategy you need for the next level of your life. I'm praying for you. Please lift your hands. There will be a strong impartation. God is releasing anointings for creativity. Some of you, it will come upon you. You will not know why. But when you sleep, you will see it in dreams. My God, I'm praying. I see this thing falling on at least 40 people. In the name that is above all names. That anointing for creativity receive it right now right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas i send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah malapo sodo baradaba now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one 
two, three. Yes, Lord, receive it, receive it, receive it. Malakata Baba. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. I smash those barriers. Breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. I mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you, they will be compelled to bless you. Listen to what I'm saying. I mark you with an unction. I mark you with a mystery. And I command that anywhere they see you, may they bless you. Anywhere you enter, may this anointing force men to bless you. Anywhere you travel to, may this anointing distinguish you. Isaac blessed his son and said, the smell of my son is like the field. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow. I don't know who must appear to bless you, but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.